So I'm trying to figure out this um, latch mechanism that we're going to use for the bookshelf door. So what I decided to do was take a standard latch that comes with a set of doorknobs and take it apart so I, I lost the turn mechanism that actually opens the latch. I actually recessed it, drilled a couple holes through this metal piece right here, and then I tapped it with a, an electrical screw so I can hold a metal cable that is going to allow me to, to pull a lateral force and open the latch. Okay, so we got our latch mounted. Remember we had that 5 8 inch to 3 quarter inch gap, so I had to recess the latch into this custom piece and I couldn't extend it all the way otherwise the angle wouldn't fit so I had to put a bevel on it to make sure that it would fit right inside the door jam. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works but in the meantime I've got uh, my cable on the inside that's going to attach through a little pulley or eye hook and connect to my book so that when I pull the latch is going to recess. All right, so let's see this in action because in the meantime, I went ahead and installed the striker plate, put it right inside the door jam, and we're going to see how this lines up. Pull the bookshelf closed. As you see, there's a gap. Now it's closed. You can see the whole thing. Nice bookshelf. You can't even tell that it's a door. When I want to go in, I'm going to have a faux book here. And I'm going to pull the book out. And that, in turn, will pull this up through my, my pivot. And then I'll be able to open my door. Okay, so I got my screws and my drill bit to make a pilot hole. Set those to the side for now. You gotta make sure your pilot hole is about the thickness of the rod down the center of the, the screw pattern. All right, the flange of the screw needs to be wider than your pilot hole. So that way you're just relieving the pressure in the wood so it doesn't split on you as well as allowing those threads to, to engage with the wood and still drive in without splitting the wood on you. So I'm gonna go ahead and pilot these. All right, I went all the way through the wood into the center of the book. Uh, just because I want full depth and full grab with these little screws. There we have it. Now we have our hinge on the bottom of our book. We just have to mount that to our shelf and connect up the mechanism and the wire and the cable through the eye hook and uh, lock our book into place and see if we have a working door. So we're ready to mount our book. We've got a cutout opening here that's going to go over our pulley mechanism with the cable. So this is going to pull up against this little eye hook. So it's going to go through. And then snake through this little eye hook and be able to we're going to secure it down and lock it against itself. So I have a little cable clamp right here. And this cable clamp is going to cinch these two cables together as I loop it around. So we're going to go ahead and put it in place. And I don't know if you can see this, but I changed the mechanism from the back to the side and I was able to put a doorknob. 
and this doorknob has a little screw attached to it so hopefully that will fit underneath here and lift the back end so it will open. So I actually have a doorknob that's going to be on the side of the door rather than uh, a little lever sticking out the back. We'll see if that works out for us. But in the meantime, I need to do a couple of things. I need to secure the hinge down to the, the shelf and then I need to secure the cable around this pulley so that I have a good working mechanism. Okay, I ran into a small issue. Um, the pulley system I put on there, I mounted it already, but uh, there's no way for me to attach the hinge at the bottom of this book with that in the way. Because I have to mount it this way with my screws, and then I have to lean it forward and snake, uh, snake my cable through and everything like that, but uh, this being in the way does not allow me to tilt it forward, so I have to do this after the fact. So I'm going to go ahead and start this over and get it where I want it to go. Okay. So there we have it. There's our bookshelf door and our fake book. So we're going to show you how this mechanism works. You just pull the top of the book and push the door open. See there's our latch there and our book mechanism and I'm going to show you how the mechanism works on the inside. I got a fake book off of Amazon. So I created a little pulley mechanism that attaches to my latch. So the, the pulley cable pulls the latch, and I'm going to show you from the inside. If I pull on that cable, the latch retracts. And that pulley is connected to an eye bolt up here and wrapped around a pulley. So if I tilt the book forward, it pulls directly out while transferring the load in the diagonal. All right, so the same thing we want to accomplish is turning the knob from the inside. So I'm going to do that and see how it lifts up and retracts the latch as well. That's how we open the door from the inside. So we grab the handle and watch the latch. You can see the book tilting here as well. So there you have it. We could shut the door from the inside and all you see is a little a little knob. You just turn it a quarter turn and you're able to open the door and get out. So there you are. Hidden bookshelf door completed. That's just about it for the, the cabinet door. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out, show you the whole project. And this is something you can do at home. Hope you learned something. Thanks a lot for tuning in to Construction 101.